This story begins in the Tournament of Power. When the participants of Universe 6 arrive to the battlefield and Goku and Caulifla notice each other for the first time. Goku extends his hand to Caulifla to introduce himself, and she hits Goku's hand as a sign of contempt. Caulifla gives a half turn and continues on her way. Just what the hell does this guy think he's doing? Does he think he's coming to make friends in this sorry place? Subsequent events unfold as in the normal timeline, and we reach the point where Goku shows the Super Saiyan 3 to Caulifla and Kale. Both warriors of Universe 6 are very surprised by the immense power of Super Saiyan 3. However, Caulifla, very fascinated by the enormous power of Goku, asks Goku to teach her how to become Super Saiyan 3. I see. This is not just some ordinary guy. This fight is going to be very interesting. The events continue to develop as in the normal timeline, reaching the fusion of Kefla. Kefla is more amazed with the awakening of the Ultra Instinct in Goku. They, without realizing it, still comes to feel a special taste for the Saiyan of Universe 7. Well, well, subjects like these are not seen every day, but I will win. Finally, Goku defeats Kefla. Universe 2 and Universe 6 must be annihilated. Yes! However, before Universe 6 is wiped out by Xenosama, Goku tells them, I promise that I will bring you back to life with the help of the Super Dragon Balls. Don't feel bad, you fought very well. And not only you, but all the universes that are erased. I will revive them, because I will win. It's a promise. Caulifla's heart beats stronger, and she says in a sad tone, It's okay. We trust you. We'll see you soon. A tear from Caulifla's eye falls to the ground before the Xenosamas erase Universe 6. Goku looks seriously at the Xenosamas and Daishinkensama. The atmosphere starts to get very tense as little by little the universes were being erased. Goku fought for the survival of his universe and for the promise he had made to them. Just like Vegeta and his promise with Kaba. Subsequently to all of them, Number 17 and Freezer, after an intense and hard battle, managed to defeat Jiren. In this timeline, the one who gets to make the wish is Goku, since he was the last participant standing. The eliminated universes appear again little by little on the battlefield, including the participants of Universe 6. Caulifla, very excited to come back to life, runs to where Goku was injured. She hugs him and says, Thank you for keeping your promise. Caulifla then gives Goku a kiss on the cheek. That's great, you won. You are amazing and very powerful. All the others who were watching were very surprised by Caulifla's way of thanking Goku. Go and get in the way somewhere else, girl. Goku looks at his friends who were in the stands on the field. Kakarot, I remind you that you have family and that your son is watching you. You better behave yourself. True, Vegeta, but I didn't do anything. She did. Caulifla, very embarrassed, says, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention. I didn't know that. Maybe you didn't know that my father has a family. Maybe you should just leave this place, girl. Caulifla is shocked and surprised by the fact of being called a child. Kale interrupts. Please stop looking at my sister like that. She just wanted to thank Mr. Goku-san for his generous gesture. And I think we should all thank him here too. All the participants of the other universes directed their gazes towards Kale. The atmosphere of the world of emptiness was of absolute silence until the murmurs began to be heard among the revived participants. And among those murmurs were the participants of Universe 2, who did not stop whispering. Do I also have to kiss Goku-san on the cheek? In that case, I'd rather kiss that bald guy over there. Android 18, very angry, says, If you mean my Krillin, he's coming with me. Android 18 slaps Brienne de Chateau in the face with a strong slap that can be heard all over the empty world. 
while the dragon of the Super Dragon Ball starts to sweat from the discomfort. The atmosphere starts to get violent as the yard rat immediately teleports to defend the maidens. Enough! Nobody has to think anyone here! Kakarot has always been like that! That's his way of being! Helping others! At that moment, Vegeta remembers that time when Goku let him escape in the capsule, and that time in Namakusi. At first, I thought it was your duty to protect your loved ones, and because of that, a totally unknown power welled up in your heart. Everyone from their seats says, Thank, Thank you, Goku. Goku. Thank, Thank you, Goku. Goku. Daishinken interrupts and says, I think the one who should be thanked here is the king of everything. After all, he only wanted to see what wish the winner was going to make. As in this case, because it was an honest and sincere wish, he promises not to erase any universe. But yes, destroyer gods must maintain balance in their universes and maintain order. On the other hand, if the wish had been selfish and malevolent, Xenosama would have erased the winning universe and would have restored the other universes. Uh, well, I don't think anyone cares about that. I just know that I have a lot of hair. <laughs> the Xenosamas look at each other face to face without understanding Goku's reaction. Meanwhile, Gohan was still showing dissatisfaction towards Caulifla. Stop looking at me with that stupid face. Or what? Do you like me or something? You are immature. You still have a lot to learn. Stop having unnecessary discussions that will get us nowhere. You should educate your son better then. Let's go, Kale. Let's get out of here. These guys just disgust me. For a moment, Caulifla stares at Goku and says, Thank you once again. I hope to see you again to be able to fight against you soon. Vados at that moment notices something in Caulifla and says, it's time to return to our universe. See you soon, Mr. Beerus. See you soon, brother. And that's how the participants go back to their universes little by little. Son Goku, thank you for collaborating and thinking about our universe too. Of course, Jiren. How could I leave you in the air? To be honest, it's more I need powerful guys like you to train with. <laughs> we will meet again another time. By then, I will be much stronger, rest assured. Son Goku, before you go, about my past, the guy who killed my parents. Uh, nothing. Forget it. I, I think I should solve this matter on my own. Jiren, don't worry. You know you can count on our help. I don't know exactly. What happened is I lost track of him many years ago. I don't know where he is now. Daishinken Sama at that moment hears part of the conversation of Jiren and Goku. He observes them with a face of concern and mystery. Daishinken Sama thinks to himself, Maybe they are talking about... No, I don't think it's that. Besides, it's been 12 eternities since then. We will be watching, Jiren. There is nothing to worry about. As long as we fight together, we will be invincible. We will fight for the peace of the universes. The events occur as in the normal timeline. Two weeks later, Ah! You smug worm, you can never help me get to the Super Saiyan 3. But Caulifla, I only know how to become a Saiyan, and I taught you how to do it! Shut your mouth! This is not enough for me to reach Son Goku. You saw all the power that worm has. Stop at once and let's continue. Sister, don't be so rude to poor Kaba. Maybe if we meet up with Son Goku again, he could help us. What? Seeing Son Goku again? <laughs> She's a fool! What's wrong with my sister? Stop looking at me like that, you two. No way we'll call him. I want to show that worm that by my own means, I can be more powerful than him, that I am able to crush him. Vados at that moment was watching the whole scene from her vaculo. Already at night, Caulifla was in her room thinking about everything that had happened two weeks ago. Caulifla thought to herself, that Goku, who would have thought to underestimate us like that? 
and wanting to train me in the middle of the tournament? I never imagined that there was a Saiyan stronger than me. But at the same time, that fascinates me. It makes me fall in love. No, no, no. What am I thinking? I was so stupid to give him that kiss. Now I just want to see him in the ground, buried. I also want to... No, no, no. What's wrong with me? Why am I imagining all these things? He has a wife and a silly son. Besides that, he's older than me. But that's not a problem. Because who knows? Saiyan commit to Saiyan at any age. No, no, no. What's wrong with me? I must stop thinking about that. But I do all my life with Son Goku. He fought for me and all the others. He would be an excellent prince on this planet. Calm down, girl. What the hell are you doing here? How did you get into my room? Now what does that Batman want? Tell him that he still owes us the jewels he promised us as payment for the tournament. Right, Son Gohan. <laughs> or better yet, should I say Son Goku? <laughs> I just came to leave you these jewels that Mr. Chopper promised you. I'll leave them right here. Well, I'm leaving. Good luck, girl. Oh, I forgot. Mr. Chopper sent you this gift. There are other Pottero clays of the Kyoshin. Well now, yes, I'm leaving. Oh yes, I forgot. I can help you in what you think so much about. The truth is, that is a very powerful guy. He dared to overcome all the limits of the gods. He fought until the last moment for you. What? You have nothing to say? Then you're not interested in my help. I'm leaving. Bye! Wait! How could you help me? I knew it! You are in love! I was right! Okay, you win! The first thing I will do is train you to get Goku's attention. I will look for the perfect excuse to bring you together again. At that moment, Kale knocks on the door and opens it. Sister, I must confess something to you. Kale is astonished to see Vados and Caulifla talking. Vados whispers, I don't even think about telling your sister anything. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, girls! Why did she come all the way here? Oh no, nothing. And what are all these jewels, sister? Did you steal them? Oh, right, yeah, she came back to leave us these jewels as payment. Just think of all the money we can earn in the black market of Sadala. And the best thing is that she brought us this. But hey, you had something to confess to me, Kale? Tell me. <laughs> Me! Tell me what you want to tell me. I... Well, if you don't want to tell me anything, you'd better leave. Now, I just want to be alone and think about what I'll buy myself with all the money I'll get from selling all these jewels. Go away now, Kale. I just want to know what I will do so that Son Goku won't suspect me. I really don't know what he's trying to do. But if he's up to something, he'll have to deal with me. He better not play dirty with me. I must admit that his training will benefit me, in part to become even stronger. Universe 7 Goten, look what I caught for dinner! It's a huge and delicious fish like the ones we used to catch with Gohan! Take this to your mother! Meanwhile, I will go see Master Karen and consult him on some matters. Hurry up, Goten, or else Chi-Chi will get angry! All right, Dad! Hello, Master. How are you? Wow, Goku, you really saved us all. That Zeno... Uh... Zeno, uh... Oh, what's his name? He's really crazy. How dare he want to erase our universe, and only for his own amusement. And not to mention that Broly. Shut your mouth, Yajirobe. Don't be insolent with the king of everything. And Goku, why are you here? Master, a long time ago I showed you my power, before the battle against Cell. Since then, many years have passed, and with all this tournament and the appearance of Broly, I have been forced to increase my powers in an unimaginable way. Oh, don't tell me. What? You're crazy if you're going to unleash all your power here. Of course not, Master. Let's go to the time room. Yajirobe, yeah, you can also join us if you like. I don't see why you want to show me your strength. The reason is that inside me, I have a mysterious power that surpasses the power of even the gods of destruction. And all this is related to what you taught me many years ago, Master. The inner peace. Well, Goku, I don't know what the hell you mean. But if it's a power greater than Super Saiyan God Phase 2, I certainly want to see it. Come on! 
Master, close the door and hold on tight to the columns. Here I come! Damn, what does Goku mean? The power he used against Broly is not enough to keep him happy? Does he have a transformation that we haven't seen? At what point did our powers become so far apart? Good, here I come! What the hell are you doing, Goku? His hair turned black! Well, Master, what did you think? I still can't control this state 100%. Apparently, I can only manage it when I'm between my back and the wall. Unfortunately, I couldn't use it in the battle against Broly. But since then, I've been looking for the key to master it. I see. You do well to calm down even when it seems like all is lost. Master Whis should have given you some parts. <laughs> That's right, but there's more than that to master at 100%. Anyway, I really appreciate your help, Master. So Goku is looking to master the Ultra Instinct completely. I could help him with that. There is no doubt that Whis is still selfishly interested. Maybe he's waiting for Goku to give him something in return to teach him how to perfect that state. Knowing him, it must be food. Three days later. I'm ready to start my strength training. And I'm ready too. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect your sister to be interested too. Is there a problem with that? You see sister, Miss Fados only has time to train one at a time. So you'd better keep an eye on our squadron here in Sadala. All right, sis. Don't worry, I'll teach you everything I learned during the training. Well, let's go meet Son Goku in a half an hour at Mr. Champa's planet. What? Is something wrong, Kill? Why the hell does his son Goku have to be in our training? Did you forget already what we talked about? But what are you? I changed my mind. I want to be present, at least at the training site. I see, so this girl is also looking for Son Goku, but I'm still not sure what her real intention is. We'd better go together. Planet Champa, Universe 6. Good, here we are again. Son Goku and my brother Whis will be arriving any moment now. Here he is, sister. I brought you Son Goku, just as you asked. Although, I don't know how you can help him control the Ultra Instinct. Good, have this feast that I promise you. Fine, I'm leaving. I'll be back in two days. Caulifla, here, it's me, it's Goku. I'm glad I can see you again. Can't you hear me, girl? Don't you turn your back on me. Who do you think you are? Of course I already noticed his presence. What's he trying to do? Force that I go and greet him? Go girl, be polite! After all, the one who will train them will be him, not me. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye! What? She's gone! Vados! And now who's going to train us? I see. Well, since she's not coming, I'll go and hit her unawares. That way she'll become stronger! I feel a lot of nerves, but I must act naturally and focus on becoming stronger. What the hell is wrong with you, you fucking idiot? I thought you were paying attention to everything. How are you, Goku? I'm honored to be by your side again. Good, so are you going to teach us how to become Super Saiyan Stage 3 or what? Well, since Vados is gone, I guess there's no other way. It might take some time until you get it. Are you calling us slow? Good, I can see you are very determined. In that case, let's do it! First, we have to meet in another dimension so that your bodies can resist it. Because the first time I got it, I was dead. I mean, in the other world. Let's see. Let me open a door to another dimension. Well, enter this portal. It's a dimension similar to the time room on Earth, but we'll be fine there. Kale, let's do it. If we want to become stronger, we must listen to this guy. Yes, sister. Sister? It's too hot in this place. It's true, there are conditions in the environment that make training more difficult, and we can take advantage of it for training. Well, I'll go light, if you want to do it too. I'm fine. Good, concentrate and find inner peace in your hearts. What the hell? It's impossible to concentrate in this place. The temperature is getting hotter and hotter. What the hell is this place? I guess it's about 80 degrees Celsius. And the temperature is getting hotter and hotter. And this guy is half naked in front of us. You must concentrate and leave behind your fears and weaknesses. You must be firm to your purpose. Oh, shut up. You don't let us concentrate. 
minutes later. Good, Kale. Your key is increasing. Keep it up. You're almost there. What the hell? Keep it up, Kale. Good. Now, unleash all your strength and transform into Super Saiyan Phase 2 and strive for Super Saiyan Phase 3. Great. This is awesome. Kale has done it. She has become Super Saiyan Stage 3. Yeah, you did it very quickly. Now, return to your normal state. Thank you, Goku. It was a little difficult, but I did it. Sister, I know you can do it too. I got really hungry. Well, I guess you can go prepare something to eat, Kale. Yes! Let me open a door for you. Well, I'll stay here a moment longer until Caulifla gets it too. By the way, Kale, it might be a little difficult for you to control Phase 3 once you're in the normal dimension. It's just a matter of time until you know how to control it well. All right, Goku. As a reward, I will prepare you something delicious. I will be waiting for you. Well, Caulifla, how about if we fight a little bit to see if you can relax and concentrate better? All right. I've been waiting for this moment. Let's do it. Wow, I see that everything is going as planned. Finally, they're alone. I will make the temperature rise a little more. And I will put pheromones in the atmosphere. Let's see if this white Goku is interested in Caulifla. Hell, I have to admit it, he's a very powerful guy, and that makes me feel something more for this insect. I want to keep fighting until my body can no longer move an inch. After about 50 minutes of battle, and after seeing the pheromones fall in the environment as it happened in the manga of Dragon Ball Multiverse, Goku begins to physically look at Caulifla. What the hell is wrong with me? For some reason I can't stop looking at her. She's so beautiful, and at the same time so strong. As a Saiyan warrior, for some reason I feel like my Saiyan race is attracted to absolute strength. And this girl? Oh, she represents all of it. Power, rivalry, and beauty. I feel like I'm going to turn into Uzaru just by looking at her. I can't take it anymore. I need to hug him. But, but what are you doing? I don't care about anything. I don't care about... I don't care what you think. I just want to hug you and make this moment eternal lasting. I don't care about anything. I don't care about anything. I don't care what you think. I just want to hug you and make this moment eternal and lasting. Goku kisses Caulifla, and Caulifla kisses Goku. That day, a new universe and a new history would be written. Goku and Caulifla had formed their love as incredible as it may seem. Both Saiyans felt very attracted to each other. So much for their powers, as if they were two opposite poles. The Angel Vados had only been the detonator of the fuse of what was to come. After a year, Goku and Caulifla came out of the other dimension. Sister, what happened? You look changed. You have matured. I thought it would take a few hours, but it took a whole day. What are you saying? We were training for a whole year in there. You're wrong. For her, it was just a day. But for us, it was a year of hard training and... Shut up, Goku. Did you get to the Super Saiyan Phase 3, sister? Super Saiyan 3? <laughs> I got something better than that, sis. Just watch. The best thing is that we both mastered it perfectly. What the hell is going on? This has gotten out of control. It's been a long time since I've watched them, and they have become one of the most powerful beings in the universe. What the hell is going on? The whole universe is shaking. Mr. Beerus, let me take a look at it. This is Son Goku, sir. He has mastered the Ultra Instinct, and not only him, but that little girl that's with him. Damn, at this rate, I lose my position as a god of destruction. Hey, Shinken, what's going on? It's your friend, Son Goku. It seems that he managed to release his inner strength. I suggest you think about giving him a position over the Gods of Destruction. At this rate, Goku and company could become my disciples. That'd be fun, yay! In a new universe far beyond the 12 universes. That power interests me a lot. Soon you will feel the real terror. <laughs> this... this can't be possible. For just a thousandth of a second, I felt the energy of... Is something wrong, Daishinkin? No, your majesty. Nothing is wrong. Daishinkin would say in his mind... Damn it! 
That beast is supposed to be in a dimension of another universe, beyond the void world. Why did I feel its key? Was it my impression? No. No, I must be very alert. Planet Sadala, one week later. What the hell is wrong with me? I feel very dizzy and nauseous. Sister, is something wrong? You look so pale. Kale, I have to tell you something. I think I'm pregnant. What? What are you saying, sister? You see, during the year of training I had with Son Goku, a lot of things happened. I know I was wrong to look at the wrong guy, but I love him very much, and I don't know what I will do now. I would do anything for him to be here with me now and know all this. Gosh, I didn't think this would happen, but Goku has the right to know. I will help this girl get to the bottom of all this. After all, the next generation could be very useful as future gods. I know I was right to gather Goku and Caulifla, and I don't regret anything. Sister, calm down. I'm with you, you know. I... Here I am again to solve your problems. Seeing you in this state only makes me feel sorry for you. We will go to Universe 7 and we will face Goku and his family. What? That's right. Hold on to me on the trip. It'll be a little long. Goku, lunch is served. But who will it be at this hour? I prepared half portions for lunch. But who are you? How, How can, can I, I help, help you? you? Um, hey, Chi Chi, who's at the door? I'm Caulifla, and I'm expecting Goku's child. What? I can't believe it, Dad. You, you don't. Dad, I can't believe it! How could you do this to my mother? <laughs> Stop crying, girl! It's simply about the same race. Your race only seeks to increase its number of descendants, who contribute nothing to the universe. Chi-Chi could not believe what Caulifla and Vados were saying. Chi-Chi, closed by anger and sadness, approaches Vados to give her a strong slap. To everyone's surprise, Chi-Chi manages to hit her. Believe me, you are affected. You will pay for it. It's okay, Vados. The only one to blame here is me. Chi-Chi and Goten are right to be angry with me. Hey, Earthling, stop crying. You should help me name Goku's son. Stop it. Chi-Chi, you'll only seriously get hurt. You know perfectly well that you don't stand a chance against a Saiyan that surpasses the gods. It's okay, Dad. You better go with her if you want your future son. I would have loved for you to have been there when I was a baby, but unfortunately, you were in the other world after the battle against Cell. Goten is right. It's better that you go with them. I'll be fine. After all, I'm used to being alone. But that doesn't mean I'll forgive you. But I don't blame you either. After all, you are a Saiyan. I guess you just followed your instinct. Dad, I know we'll see each other in a while, so I'd just like you to give me a big hug as a goodbye, but I promise you that I'll take care of protecting the Earth in your absence. Goten is fine, Chi-Chi. You're absolutely right. I can't leave my future son who is on his way. Besides, I am sure that he will be a great warrior. So, together with Caulifla, we will raise him, train him, and turn him into the future savior of the 12 universes. Wow, I hadn't thought about that. Goku is absolutely right. Our son could easily become the most powerful warrior of the 12 universes. Wow, so they realized the potential that both of them had. After all, this, this was my plan, which they had entrusted me with day after day. Goten immediately runs to Goku to say goodbye because he knew he wouldn't see him for a long time. <laughs> you are identical to me. You're going to be very strong. <laughs> and that's how Goku, Caulifla, Kale, and Vados set off for Universe 6. Wow. This complicated situation is making me too hungry. 
Not so fast, Goku. Before I prepare for you the tastiest dishes of the salty planet, promise that you will accompany me to my brother Renzo. I want to introduce you as my future husband. Well, what am I going to do in the meantime, sister? You just come with us, sister. Well, if that's what you have to do before eating, it's no problem for me. Brother Renzo! Brother Renzo! Are you there? Answer me! Caulifla, sister! It's been a long time! Tell me, who is this boy? His name is Goku and he's my husband! What? But what did that little boy do? But if the... I know, brother, but our father would be very proud. Believe me! It is true. Our father would be very proud. At first glance, this guy looks like a fool, but... You can see that he has great inner power that he hides. I would even dare to say that he is equal or superior to the king, but who the hell is this guy? And where did he come from? Brother, if you wonder where he came from, let me tell you that he is a Saiyan of Universe 7, and he was the one who saved the 12 universes. His battle level is at the highest height, superior to that of the gods of destruction. What? That's right. Goku, show some of your power to my brother so that he is convinced. And that is how Goku becomes the Super Saiyan God Phase 2. Wow, I don't feel his power, but at first glance, you can see that he is at another level. I was wrong to think that he is as powerful as our king. My mistake, he is a million times more powerful than him. Wow, he is definitely amazing. If he wanted to, he could challenge the king to a fight and become the next king, and possess all the treasures of Sadala that Kalifla wanted so much. Forget it, brother. I'm not interested in treasures anymore. Now I just want to breed and train the son I'm waiting for from Goku. What? Well, after all, there is no better guy than him for my sister. Well, go ahead. I will prepare a delicious and exquisite feast to celebrate this news. Oh yes, very good! Well, I think they'll raise the reincarnation of the Archangel Brussel just fine. Nine months later. <laughs> Goku and Caulifla during those months had been talking about a name for their future son, which they would call Brussel. And it is said that the day that Brusel was born, the king and the prince of Sadala had prepared a great ceremony to celebrate the birth of the sun, the birth of the savior of the 12 universes. There were banquets, parties all over the planet. That day, the 12 gods of destruction were invited to the great party with their angels. It is said that at the moment that Brusel was born, a strong shudder was felt in every corner of the universes. The angels were very happy to receive the reincarnation of the Archangel Brusel. And that is when Vados told Goku and Caulifla that their son was the reincarnation of an ancient Archangel. To be more exact, this was the first angel, even before Daishinken. Goku and Caulifla were very surprised and excited, however, in a world beyond the world of emptiness, an ancient evil god, which was called Themel, was witnessing the situation of the birth. The time has come. At last we find you, Cousin Sino. At last, I can make you dust with my own hands and avenge the disappearance of my father. I will lock you in this dreadful world. I will finish off Daishinken and Zeno-sama. After all, their fathers no longer exist. Angels, reassume your true mission is to protect Brussel. If you must sacrifice your existence, do it. As you know, you have already noticed the presence of Themor. Daishinken, what's going on? An evil presence is approaching this place, and its specific target is your newborn son. That's why we all come here to protect him. Margarita, take Goku's son and hide in Xenosama's palace, inside his secret dimension. And don't come out of there until we go to look for them. Okay, father. What do you think you're doing? 
I see the Tyson Gens clown brought all the losers. I wonder who the hell is escorting the new Xenosama. By the way, my soldiers should be arriving at his palace right now. But how the hell did you know about Xenosama's palace? Shut your mouth, you conceited bastard. No one gave you the authorization to speak. Now, all of you will pay for it. Especially you, Daishinken. Being locked up for two eternities in that world wasn't pleasant at all. But first things first, I have to annihilate Brussel. I can't allow him to develop. Give me that little boy you're holding. Not so fast, you bastard. I won't allow you to lay a finger on my son. And I will also protect my son with my own life. Caulifla, run away with Daisy and our son. I'll take care of this guy myself. Son Goku, that power is not enough to stop the more. When it comes to defending my son and protecting the lives of my loved ones, I simply have no limits, Daishinken. I must confess that your level amazes me. But once again, Daishinken, no one gave you permission to open your mouth. <laughs> well, that's more like it. That clown has no idea of anything but babysitting a smug little runt who's good for nothing. And that's how the great battle begins. Come on, gods. We have to help Goku. We would only be in the way if the Great Father was knocked unconscious in an instant. We are too much. We should rather go to protect Xenosama. Damn, what impotence. I must warn Universe 7 of this great threat. Whis, take me to Vegeta and the others. Goku will definitely need our help. Margarita, take that child away from this place. More respect for my Archangel Brusel. I see you're a very skilled guy. I must admit, it's been a long time since I've had such a tough battle. I must admit that you have a good level, but I haven't even used 50% of my power yet. Well, let me tell you, neither have I. This planet definitely can't take the battle. We better go to the Void World. That's the only place I know we won't limit ourselves. If you care so much about this planet, I'd better destroy it at once. This is how Themor explodes the planet Sadala in an instant. <laughs> However, Daisy sheltered Caulifla and Brusel, protecting them from the Great Explosion. Goku, very worried, observes that Caulifla was well with his son. Goku, with his eyes, tells Daisy to leave at once. This won't stay like this! You've only made me hate you more! That's it! Fill yourself with hatred! Hatred grants ambition! I promise to turn you to dust, you bastard! This is how Goku teleports to the Void World, which was still destroyed after the Tournament of Power. However, moments before the explosion, Daishinken managed to escape to Xenosama's palace. Fortunately, Xenosama was fine. Those who had gone to attack him were no match for the two Xenosamas, and they had simply disappeared. I see Goku is currently fighting with all his strength against Themor. What Themor doesn't know is that we are two Xenosama. Goku has little chance of defeating him. The best thing would be for me to go help him. After all, he was the one who rescued me and helped me at that moment and brought me here. Don't say that, my friend. We promise to be together always. Don't worry, my friend. As long as I'm in your memories, I will always be there. Your Highness, we will not allow you to expose yourself to danger. However, at that moment, Vegeta, Beerus, and Whis appeared in the palace. Uh, that Kakarot bug is always getting into trouble. I was also training in the time room all this time. I couldn't stay behind anyway. Well, then go help him for once. However, a strong impact would shake all the universes. Damn, that key is from Damned Mephino. Weren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> I was supposed to be dead.